Greetings everyone and welcome. This is Neo and you're watching Fintech. If you enjoy our content, please do not forget to leave a like. You can subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be informed about our later videos. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Before we start our video, let's hear our legal disclaimer. None of information given in this video should be taken as financial advice. Please make your investments according to your own research. Actually, not so long ago, I have told you about a pioneering solution to the mining and blockchain. This was a project providing an impressive solution to the scalability and efficiency problems existing in the blockchain right now. As you can see from the title, this project is called BlockTech and they represent a groundbreaking solution to the problems of blockchain today. Essentially, what BlockTech tries to do is to simplify the process, but to do that, they have very comprehensive and actually complicated algorithms working at the background. And actually, if any project wants to be successful, they need to have a very great solution at the background so that they can generate this on the forefront as well to give it to the users. In our previous video, we watched the keynote together and I have told you about my interpretation of what they are trying to do and what they want to achieve in the blockchain space. And they have quite big aims and they want to be successful. Today, we are going to take a look at what they are doing in the background, taking a look at their updated DAC paper version 2. Now, this paper is quite complicated. It also introduces some algorithms which are quite difficult to comprehend, but still we will try to take a look at it and we will try to understand what they want to achieve and how actually they are achieving this in the blockchain. So to give you a heads up at the core of BlockTech as stated in this DAG paper V2, there are sophisticated algorithms, including DAG based algorithm and the ghost DAG algorithm, which enable rapid transaction processing and secure consensus building on the block DAG network. To be more technical, this DAG based algorithm recursively competes the past sets of each tip in a direct acoustic graph, in short DAG, so DAG. This results in a key cluster for each tip. It then selects the largest cluster among the output clusters that expands the set by adding blocks with sufficiently small anticone, ultimately forming a chain that inherits the coloration of its highest scoring tips. So with this DAG, they actually achieve to be quite efficient plus scalable combined with their ghost tag. The ghost tag algorithm on the other end facilitates transactions ordering within the block tag structure by prioritizing the blocks with more references from previously validated blocks. This prioritization enhances security by incentivizing miners to build on the most widely accepted selections of the AG DAG, ensuring chain dominance by the honest majority. And in addition to its innovative algorithms, the block DAG network boasts several notable features that set it apart from traditional blockchain networks and traditional mining networks actually. First, its compatibility with Ethereum Virtual Machine, so EVM, allows developers to deploy existing Ethereum-based smart contracts, seamlessly accelerating the project's development and security. Plus, the network's high transaction output, ranging from 10,000 to 15,000 transactions per second, ensures rapid transaction process with minimal fees, making it ideal for a variety of applications on the blockchain and Web3, actually, especially those requiring time-sensitive transactions. And furthermore, block tag networks tokenomics are designed in a way that will help the project's growth and that will incentivize the users for the long term. So with a total supply of 150 billion coins and a capped model similar to Bitcoin, which is great to see, the network allocates a significant portion of coins for the pre-sale phase to incentivize the early supporters. And actually, if you check out the pre-sale page, you will see more than 16 million have already been raised. And right now, one BDEC equals to 0.0045. And in the next stage, it will be equal to 0.005, which means the price will be multiplied continuously. Here you can also see that they have sold more than $2 million of miners 
with total miner sold for 1589 Their pre-sale has seen significant achievements and milestones and it is still going on with the lowest price available. And if you want even more rewards, there is an invitation code which you can generate to refer other users and this will get you 10% bonus from all referred investors. So as I've said, there's a big sum allocated for the pre-sale you can see here. The remaining coins are distributed among miners, community building, liquidity pool and the team, ensuring a quite balanced distribution model that fosters community engagement and network growth. So when you first hear what BlockTech tries to achieve as we have witnessed in the keynote, it really sounds quite futuristic and it really sounds quite inachievable. However, when you understand the mechanisms and algorithms that they are using in the background, they have put a lot of work in it and they are poised to achieve these numbers and these milestones. If you want to see it for yourself, their block deck deck paper v2 actually has much more information than I have just told you and they also show the algorithms directly on this paper. If you have time for it, I suggest you to read all of these documents and try to understand it and if you actually are a person who is very curious about these algorithms and who knows about coding, actually you will like this paper a lot. If you don't really have the time, let me summarize the key points once again before I conclude the video. So. BDEC boasts a total supply of 150 billion coins with a halving event scheduled every 12 months to control inflation and preserve the value. 33% of the total supply equivalent to 49.5 billion coins is earmarked for the free sale phase to incentivize the early supporters. And 66% of the total supply, which is equivalent to 99 billion coins, is allocated to the miners, community building, liquidity pools and the team. BlockDeck Networks offers near instantaneous transaction confirmation with transactions being confirmed in seconds rather than minutes. And BlockDex architecture promotes interesting scalability, allowing for a greater throughput as network grows. In conclusion, BlockDex Network prioritizes security, scalability and efficiency with their notable features and their well-defined tokenomics. As the network continues to evolve, they will have more scalability options, they will enhance their algorithms and because they will sell more miners, there will be lots of users in their platform which means significant growth and the listings as they mention in their keynote. If you want to be a part of BlockDeck with the smallest investment possible in this pre-sale phase, you can do that very easily by joining the pre-sale and there's also a referral system with 10% bonus, which is quite generous. That's all for today's video. We will continue to bring you the latest news and promising projects. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching FinTech. Until next time.